Hi, folks. I am, uh, yes, I'm a floating disembodied head at the moment. I wore black on black. Sorry about that. So this is a super short video. Um, I made something really simple for some friends of mine on Facebook, Juanita Pritchard. Um, and I thought I'd show you, and I'm going to put these files up, so I need a video to share. Um, this is a game called Zingo. And uh, Lesson Picks, my day job, makes uh, overlays that are stickers you can print out and put them on Zingo. And one of the questions was, I would just wish I could buy more chips. I'm like, well, you could 3D print them. And I suddenly am now 3D printing them. So I made it, I measured this well and uh, modeled it. It's a really simple file. But uh, here's what it looks like. So these are normally, they come out when you pull them. And you'll see that if I do this, I get two more. And if I do this, ah, the green ones. These are the 3D printed ones. Um, these work just fine. Uh, I think I've got, um, I don't know, a bunch of them in here. So as you see, they'll, they'll pop out the ones with the stickers, the ones without the stickers. And, um, whoops, there you go. And there's a 3D printed one as well. So some of these have a little bit of, like, edge stuff on them so you might want to clean them up with like a deburring tool or just be more careful when you're printing them but they print the same and they work the same um i will share the stl files and the design files uh so you can see that they work they do um and then the all except for i think one the first one i printed won't but they will work the same like this as well you can pop them in like that and they fit they're, they're, they're the right size so uh, you'll find the files on Thingiverse, uh, and I'm going to share a link with that for the person who originally asked for it. If you don't know how to print a STL file, join the AT Makers group, ask somebody for help. We'll be happy to help you.